I'm going to be reading for from my new novel. My first novel is coming out uh, from the Feminist Press next spring. And uh, it's called Fiebre Tropical, which translates to Tropical Fever. And it's a multilingual novel. So if you're lost, it's okay. You don't have to know all the time where you're going, huh? That's what life is about. <clears throat> and uh, it's a story of uh, three women, um, the mom and two sisters and the grandmother who moved from Bogota to Miami. And the mom, the grandmother, they all joined the Evangelical Christian Church. And so <clears throat> they're in Miami. Chapter uno. This is the beginning. You don't need to know anything other than they're there. Buenos dias, mi reina. Immigrant criolla here reporting desde los Miami's from our uninfested townhouse. The air conditioning broke too. And below it, it was the TV, the flowery couch, la tata half drunk directing me in this holy radionovela brought to you by Female Sadness Incorporated. That morning, as we unpacked the last of our bags, we found Tata's old radio. So the two of us practiced our latest melodrama in the living room. On the TV, Don Francisco saluda el pueblo de Miami, damas y caballeros. En la Tata, at this age, to mommy's exasperation, my own delight, went girl crazy over his manly voice. Mommy angrily turned off the stove where la Tata had left the the bacalao fried unattended. Then Lysol sprayed the countertop, smashing the dark trail of ants, hustling some pancito for the colony in the back of the fridge. Girlfriend was pissed. She hadn't come to the US of A to kill ants and smell like puto fish. And how lovely it would have been if the housekeeper could have joined us on the plane. Then mommy could leave her the house tour duties to her and concentrate on the execution of this migration project. Pero aló, is she the only person awake in esta berraca house? On the TV, another commercial for Inglés Sin Barreras. And Lucia, La Tata, and I chuckled at the white people teaching brown people how to say, hello, my name is. Hello, I am going to the store. Hello, what is this swamp? Please rescue us. It was April and hot. Not that the heat dissipated in June or July or August or September, or even November for that matter. The heat, I will come to learn the hard way, is a constant in Miami. El calorcito didn't get the impermanence memo, didn't understand how change works. Nah, -uh. The hate is a stubborn bitch, breathing its humid mouth on your every pore, reminding you this hell is inescapable and in another language. We've been here for a month, newly arrived, still saladitas, and I already wanted to go back to Colombia, return to my Panela land, its mountains, and the constant anxiety that comes just by living in Bogota. That anxiety that I nonetheless understood better than this new terrifying one. But mommy explained to me over and over with a smirk that, look around you, Francisca, this is your home now. Our to-do list that doom Saturday of the ants and the bacalao included helping mommy with the preparations for the celebration of the death or the baptism or the rebirth or something of her miscarriage dead baby, Sebastian. It has been argued that my dead brother's baptism was the most exciting event in the Martinez Juan family that year. This is mainly because La Tata drank half of a bottle of rum a day, couldn't keep Monday from Friday, so obviously a fake baby's baptism at a pastor's pool was more important to her than, say, the fact that by the end of the month, my younger sister Lucia regularly woke in the middle of the night to pray over me. Or the fact that I will eventually remember this time, the first month of our arrival, as mommy's most sane, grounded moment. Pero, we're getting ahead of ourselves, cachaco. Primero la primaria. We've been prepping for the baptism celebration even before departing from our apartment in the, third, in the third floor down in Bogota. Inside the six Samsonite bags that mommy, Lucia, and yours truly were allowed to bring into this new, exciting life were black and gold tablecloths, handcrafted invitations, and other various baptism paraphernalia. 